is going on guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you're returning well welcome back I just want to start off saying by happy new year to every single one of you happy 2020 I hope this year brings you guys nothing but happiness and success I hope all of your goals are fulfilled I just really really hope this year is a better year for all of us um, it's easy to say that 2019 was not my year for sure it was it was it was a tough one but we got through it we're in a whole new decade it's time to move on time to do new things time to accomplish new goals and with that being said for my first video of 2020 I kind of wanted to document my my new year's resolutions sort of say um, I just want to have it documented and by the end of the year I want to see what I accomplished what I didn't accomplish and I just basically want to hold myself accountable for all of my goals that I have for this year and what better way than put it on YouTube. I also wanted to show you guys how I brought in the new year. This year was a little bit different. I'm used to spending New Year's with my friends, going out somewhere with them, partying, uh, but this year I actually spent it with all of my family. Uh, we rent a hall and a DJ and we all get together and it's just a big party. And the reason for that was because I recently got surgery so I was not really able to do much. Uh, I wanted to do something chill, take it calm because I do have an open wound so I didn't want anything to go wrong and something bad to happen and I didn't want to end up back in the hospital. So I decided to take it chill this year. So with that being said, I'm going to put a few clips that I recorded with my family right now and then after that I'll meet you guys back here and we'll get started with our New Year's resolutions. Okay guys, hope you like them. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star Flying over streets and the broken hearts But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Never get out of their feet in the fears and the doubt. Ooh, but we're golden, we run to the end, and we run without shame. We own the game. I'm not 
different star Flying over streets and the broken hearts But they can even touch us We found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Oh, getting caught in the mist There's so many that never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go and we run to the end And we run without shame We own the game So guys, what did you guys think? It was honestly so much fun and I truly, truly missed it. I grew up spending all of the holidays with all of my family and I have a pretty big family. So it was really nice to get together with everyone and um, celebrate and welcome in the new year. Okay, but now we're gonna go ahead and get started with what this video is really about. I'm going to tell you guys my new year's resolutions and this is just to hold myself accountable. Like I said, I'm gonna try to actually stick to these New Year's resolutions, I'm gonna try to actually do something to accomplish them because without actually doing something, obviously they're not gonna get accomplished. So I'm gonna really, really try to hold myself accountable and fulfill my New Year's resolutions this year. I'm not just gonna say that I'm gonna do things and not do anything and it's gonna be 2021, I'm gonna be like, well, none of my resolutions got fulfilled. No, this year is gonna be different. This year I'm actually gonna try to stick to them. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the video again. So if I look down, it's because I'm looking at my phone. I had to write them down on my phone because I did put a lot of thought into these. I wanted them to be things I truly wanted in my life, things I truly wanted to change in my life. So I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget. Okay, so the first one that I wrote down is learn how to use Photoshop. I've always wanted to learn how to use Photoshop. I just think it's really cool how you can do so many different things on there. I want to actually do something about it and by the end of the year I want to be a Photoshop Pro. So that's number one. Number two, and I feel like this is a very common one that a lot of people always have on their New Year's resolutions, I want to go to the gym. I want to get my butt up and actually go to the gym consistently. I want to add going to the gym into my everyday routine. Um, and that's just for health reasons. Uh, I'll explain a little bit more about that um, in maybe in another video. But yeah, that's my New Year's resolution number two. And let's be honest, it's been on my New Year's resolutions last year, the year before that, the year before that, and so on and so on. But this year, I honestly want to try to get consistent on going to the gym. It's just for my health. All right, my third New Year's resolution is self-love. Something I really struggled with in 2019 was with self-love. I'm the type of person that I, I pretend I don't care what people think about me, but it, deep inside, I actually do care. I take people's opinions into consideration and I let it affect me. So this year, I want to learn how to love myself, learn how to be happy with who I am, and if there's something I don't like about my life, I want to change it. So that's what we're gonna work on this year also self-love number four i also want to let people in i want to be a little bit more open with my close friends um, i'm a very reserved person i love being there for people i love helping everyone especially my close friends i'm always there for them and they know it but i always bottle things in i always keep everything to myself if i'm going through something i don't tell anyone because i don't want to get judged i don't want anyone to think different of me i don't want I don't want pity. I don't I don't want none of that. So for me, it's easier to keep it inside. And I know that's really bad because at the end you'll just explode. But that's how I am. And that's something I really want to change about me. I want to be able to tell my friends things that I'm going through. I, I really, really want to open up more. So that's another thing that I'm going to work on. Number five, and this is a really hard one for me. This is something really new. At the end of 2019, I actually was hospitalized for four, four days. But that's a story for another time um, and I learned that I actually have type 2 diabetes um, so my fifth New Year's resolution is I want to learn to adapt to having diabetes 
honestly, when um, they told me that, it shook my world. It, I didn't know really what to think about it. Um, I was scared, but it's something I'm going to have to live with for the rest of my life. So I need to learn to adapt to it. I need to learn that lifestyle. And that's also where going to the gym comes in. Um, it's also for my health, for my diabetes to help it go down. Um, but yeah, it's, it's something really scary. Honestly, if I think about it, it is super scary. Um, but I know I'm going to learn how to adapt it. I have a very strong support group and I know they're there to help me. Um, and that's also where opening up comes in. So I know I'm going to get through this. All right, and with that being said, my sixth New Year's resolution is I really, 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 really wanna work towards getting off insulin. I currently take insulin every night before I go to bed. Um, and the doctors told me that there's a possibility that I can work really hard to get off of insulin and I can just be on the medication for diabetes and not have to take insulin every night because it is a little bit painful. Um, my stomach is all bruised up because I do have to poke myself with the needle every night in a different spot of my belly um, to inject the insulin. So I really, really want to try to work hard towards getting off of insulin. Um, I don't care how long it takes, if it takes a year, if it takes two years, but I'm putting that in this year's New Year's resolutions. And if it doesn't work out this year, then I'm going to put it again next year, but we will be off insulin. You will see. All right, so my seventh New Year's resolution is I want to be more consistent on YouTube. I love posting videos. I love editing. I just really want to get more consistent with uploading videos. I just want to document my life a little bit more, upload it, um, edit it, make, have fun with it. I just want to be more consistent. Um, and I know that's going to help my channel grow a lot if I post consistently. So that's one thing we're going to work on really, really hard. We're going to be consistent on YouTube. You'll see. I'm actually going to stick to my uploading schedule. For now, we're going to stick to once a week and I'm actually going to try to post a video every single week um, and eventually maybe we'll post more. But for starters, we're going to start with posting once a week and being more consistent. My eighth New Year's resolution is a resolution I have every single year and I have so far I've actually accomplished it every single year. I want to travel to a new place. I love traveling. Traveling is so liberating. It's just an awesome, awesome thing to be able to get into a plane and just be in a completely different world in just a couple of hours. So this year I want to travel to a new place once again and discover a little bit more about the world, see something new. And I, I just, I'm going to travel to a new place, guys. Well, I don't know where, I don't know when, but we're going to do it. Number nine is, this is a big one for me as well. I want to save money. I want to learn how to spend smartly and not just spend dumb. Uh, I'm the type of person that if I want something, I buy it not caring about the price. Um, even if I have to save up for it for a little bit, I save up and then I end up buying it. But I want to learn to spend smart and yeah, not limit myself of things that I want because I do work hard for my money. But I also want to be able to save money for my for a future. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to come up. And I just want to be able to save money. And last but not least, guys, I want to be happy. I want to do things that make me happy. I want that everything that I do be something that I want to do, something that's going to make me happy, bring joy to my life. I don't want to do something that I'm not happy doing. I don't want to sit there and do something that I don't want to do, be unhappy with what I'm doing, because honestly, that's just a miserable life. I want to be happy. I want everyone around me to be happy. I just want to be happy, guys. So that's one of the biggest New Year's resolutions that I have. Um, I'm just going to start taking steps to things that make me happy, things that bring joy into my life. I'm not going to care what anyone thinks. I'm not going to let people's opinions about me affect me. I'm going to do things because I want to do them. And I know my support group is going to be behind me. And that's honestly all I need. I will be a happier person in 2020. I'm going to learn to love myself. Like I said, there's just so many things I want to accomplish this new year. And honestly, guys, trust me, if you put it into the universe, it'll happen. So I'm saying this year, I'm going to accomplish all my new year's resolutions. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to get off insulin. I'm going to save money. I'm going to travel. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to do everything on my list. 
So yeah guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Um, also hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And let me know what your New Year's resolutions are down in the comments below. I, I would love to hear them. Um, and together we'll work towards accomplishing all of our goals this year. Alright guys, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!